Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off a bunch of secret strats and insane new tricks in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. These tips will include new ways to utilize the mantling mechanic, overpowered facing moves with the cow catcher item, I'm even gonna include some secret changes that Epic made that I promise you, nobody knows about. All I ask before I start the video, you guys know I never do this, is to please drop a like. Anytime the new season comes out, I barely sleep because I'm making so much content, so do me a favor, drop a like, subscribe, and watch the whole video through. Alright, so to start off, we are going to be looking over all the different movement abilities. Last season, we had sliding. We actually have a lot more, including the tactical sprint. We have mantling, aka parkour. And then we have one a lot of people seem to forget about, which is busting. Busting open doors, that is. Ugh, I'm finna bust. Ugh. But to start off with the tactical sprint, this is one of the coolest, and in my opinion, it's gonna be the most useful of the new movement abilities. Bro, can this bird shut up? The way in which it works is if you go to your settings, you have to go over to your keybinds, and what you have to do to actually utilize it is you have to bind your sprint key. So right now you can see I have it on Q. If I actually go back and I just run normally, this is sprint by default, so this is what it looks like. I'm not holding down anything, I'm just pressing W. Sprint by by default I'm running but then when I go to press Q you can see it activates the tactical sprint I am running way faster I have no weapons not even a pickaxe let me quickly get a gun just to prove it nice so I have a gun out and then I tactical sprint it's gonna put the weapon away and if I bring it out to shoot I stop tactical sprinting that also works with pulling out a build you're no longer gonna tactical sprint if you jump at the end you actually go pretty far which is part of like mantling so say I'm just running up like this Ugh. And I can go way further. It works too if you want to get on top of stuff. I can mantle up. It's just so sick. But two important things to know are within your settings, if you go to the second page on your game tab, you can see there's new movement settings, which of course my head has to block. I moved my fat head so you guys can see them. This is the movement section now. You can see there's no sprint by default, meaning it's basically enabled for everyone. And I guess that makes sense because if we go back over here in the sprint, this is what I said you need to actually bind. So if you don't have this bound, and you try to activate the tactical sprint, just nothing happens. I'm pressing Q, I'm pressing... <laughs> I'm pressing everything. Nothing happens at all. So that needs to be bound. Everyone is basically forced on sprint by default, which I have recommended forever. And for those who want to know what the best actual sprint or tactical sprint key is, just use whatever works for you. In theory, you would want to use something on either your thumb or maybe your pinky because that's optimal. You could still press WASD when you go to press your tactical sprint. But what I found is if you just use any button like Q that you actually have available, and then you go back to the second page of your game settings, what you could do is enable- had to hide my head. Bro, these fucking birds! Just enable this setting that is called toggle sprint. So usually you guys know I am against all sort of toggling. I always tell you guys turn toggle settings off. But toggle sprint is actually very, very useful and I recommend having it on because what this does is all I have to do is press Q once. I'm going to activate the sprint. I can now press WASD to go anywhere and if I press Q again, that's going to bring me out of it. So normally without that, let me just go turn toggle sprint off. What I would have to do for the tactical sprint remember toggle sprint is off but tactical sprint i would press and hold q if i let go of it it's gonna stop right away i have to keep my finger on q with toggle sprint off but in my opinion my kind of good fortnite opinion i think you should turn this on that way you just press it once you could press wasd no matter what key it is and then if you want to get out of it you can just go to build you can if you really want to like slide that's gonna stop it you can even just bring Bring out your weapon or your pickaxe or press Q again. I feel like it doesn't make that big of a difference compared to something like aiming down sight, which you don't want on a toggle because you want to do it so fast. Like you're never just going to be tactical sprinting for a second without having to build. That's going to bring you out of it anyways. So why not have toggle sprint on? But yeah, that is basically tactical sprint and why I think you should turn toggle sprint on. Obviously, it's not unlimited. If you look in the bottom right, there's like a little meter and that shows you how long you have. 
have, it does recharge. Watch. Yep, it goes right back up. So just put it on whatever keybind you guys have left. I know a lot of controller players were complaining because they have no more leftover keybinds, but it doesn't have to be optimal, I promise you. With toggle sprint on, just put it on something you can hit. It does not have to be anything crazy. And that is tactical sprinting, as well as what's going to lead us over to mantling. Oh, it's so sick. Boys, I had to get away from those goddamn birds. They were actually driving me nuts. Regardless, mantling is like you just saw, the ability to mantle and pull yourself onto stuff like walls, even edited ones, which I guess you really wouldn't need to, but there you go. <laughs> it works. This thing is gonna be so useful for like fighting because you can just jump on your own box. If you have no mats in an end game, you can jump on your opponent's builds and hoist yourself up. <laughs> I even saw Bartos using this. He was basically in a box, and what he did was he edited the floor up, as well as the cone. He then hoisted himself, then edited, and like got a shot. It was crazy. Wait, I'm kind of a noob at it. The new Martas classic. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. You can shoot through stuff. And that is definitely going to be the meta with this. There's going to be so many crazy outplays. Huh. Bro, it's so sick. Now, obviously, boys, I'm not here to just tell you how cool it is. There are some settings that go along with it. Wait, well, that just came out of a cooler. Random fact that I actually did not know. Fish, including thermal fish, can come out of coolers. I'm going to go test that again really quick. <laughs> this is just pure floppers. So, wow, they changed coolers. I did not know that. There's another trick that nobody else has told you. <laughs> But back to mantling and the setting for it. If we go back again to the second page, the game settings and our movement. I'm hiding my face for the fifth time. You have mantle activation. You have hold jump or hold forward. Now, this is basically what it says. It controls how your player mantles and grabs onto ledges. With hold jump, I just applied it. And essentially, I'm going to hold my jump key to mantle up. That's all that means. I'm holding my jump. So I'm holding space bar. And that is what is allowed allowing me to actually mantle up. If I want to do the Marta strat, I kind of have to hold a little longer. Look at that. Oh, and I mantled again. I think you can mantle like on windows like this and then... Okay. It's a little weird, but what hold forward is, hold forward, instead of holding your actual jump key, you're going to hold W or whatever you use to go forward. So I'm not holding space anymore, just W. It's doing the same exact thing. This is kind of preference, but from what I've found, hold forward is way more buggy. So right now, hold forward, right? Oh, it, wait, it's working. Oh, see, look, sometimes it doesn't work for the Marta strat. Look, I think I'm maybe, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not really work for the Marta strat. So in my opinion, again, my Fortnite opinion, put mantle activation on hold jump, apply that. I found this is just way more consistent. Look at that, I got a first try and I did it again. I've never had a problem with the hold jump. Oh no. It also kind of makes more sense since you're jumping and if you just hold it, you're going to mantle up. It's almost like a double jump, right? I don't know. That's more intuitive to me. But yeah, that's mantling. You can use it for a lot of different stuff, including negating fall damage. Did you guys know that? You saw there was fall damage. I took a lot of it. But if I do this... <laughs> but no troll, you could use it along with the tactical sprint to get down from stuff. Look at that. That was sick. I bet people like creative warriors are going to get really good with it, which will be cool. It's going to be a huge skill gap. Ugh. Look at that. Dude, it's so cool. And lastly, I mentioned it, but it's really quick. Use a tactical sprint to bust. Oh, my bust was not powerful enough. Oh, it's really not that interesting, but I mean, it's kind of like auto open doors. Oh, and I mean, if you want to add that setting, turn on auto open doors. It's in the movement, auto open doors, turn that on too, just because it makes busting way, way easier. And those are your movement settings, ladies and gentlemen. Chapter three is so sick. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, what we are going to be looking at is the new vehicle modification called the cow catcher. I guess it's catching your moms. <laughs> 
Um, but anyways, it is called the cow catcher. These spawn just on the ground like this. Just random floor loot, bro. Did this bird really follow me? Shut your dumb ass up. But the other place they spawn are in these red ammo crates. These things are back. Remember these used to give nuts and bolts? Hey, look, I got it first try. Those come out of there. They drop in stacks of two. And all you really do with them, you know, outside the god trick I'm gonna show. Where's the car at? Here we go. The way most people utilize them is like big wheels, you know, the chop. Bonkers. You throw it on a car, it's gonna go in the front like this, and then, you know, if you drive, you can just destroy everything! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> it goes past all these blockades, it's... Uh, bruh. Oh, um, okay. And if you notice, though, my car is still at 800. Bro. Bro! Stop moving! Chill! Nice! Finally! But the cow catcher, you use it to just plow through everything. It is so much fun. But there's also another more nefarious and broken use case for them. So my friend here, Hydra, he actually does not know this trick with the cow catcher. Basically, what you can do is use it almost like a crash pad where if you throw it in front of a wall, it's gonna break a I wall. I can't build. And <laughs> Look, I'm behind it. I have cover too. <laughs> and like Hydra said, you can't build when people throw it down. You can't build anywhere on it. <laughs> How much? Oh, it has 800 AP. 800 HP. I can't even speak. So say we're just fighting, right? I'm smacking on some walls. I'm trying to take it, but he has God ping. All I have to do is just throw it down. <laughs> and I'm in his box. <laughs> What is this game? And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it works exactly the way you think it does from the bottom as well. <laughs> oh, at least you can build a floor. <laughs> nah, because you didn't throw high enough. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can't build a ramp though. Yeah. Bro, wait, it just disappeared. Bro, I don't know if they're gonna fix it or not. Hopefully they do because I don't want it to be like crash pads. Those things were so broken. Wait, can I pull this? Oh, no, I pulled the repair torch. I mean, that's fine. It's the next trick, but I want to get one more set. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. This yeah. is the ultimate crash pad test. Uh oh, <laughs> it only <laughs> breaks the wall from the top, man. So it's not as busted, but I mean, if you're just in full brick, so you can't stupid. build. As I just mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we're gonna look at, you know, we gotta change the scenery just a little bit. Drive away from Tilted. But I'm in a car for a reason, because the item is the repair torch. This thing is actually really, really sick. So the way you use it is you just left click, and that, you can see the flame is like moving. It's being used and activated, and it's going down on the bottom right. I have 150 out of the 200 repair torch, I guess, ammo left. But the way it works is if your car is damaged, so it's at, what, 640? You could just use it to repair and bring it right back up to 800. I'm pretty sure it does not work for Windows. Let me test that real quick. Once a window's broken, yeah, it doesn't work. Wheels. Oh, it does work for wheels. I kind of knew that, but it's cool. <laughs> Way cooler in person to actually see it just be built right back. It does not work for chonker wheels. I can say that for sure. And even cooler, if you're not the one driving, you can use it. Look at that. If you're driving a zone in the passenger seat in duos, you could use it to repair your car. Pretty sick. There's also some other use cases, like you could use it to set wood on fire, which... <laughs> I mean, it does break builds just by itself. Look at the HP. And then it burns everything if it's wood. I don't know if it's going to be actually useful for wall replacing. Oh, it doesn't even do damage to metal. It does damage to brick. It doesn't light it on fire. And there goes my repair torch. No ammo. <gasps> Wait. Dun, 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 dun. One last test for the repair torch. Okay. What if I... Boom. Uh, oh man, that was a good idea, was it not? Like, come on. Wait, can I get one new? Man. But yeah, that's basically the repair torch. I wish I could find another. You guys get the gist though. Let's move on to tanks.
Oh my gosh. Tanks, of course, are up next. These things are in competitive right now. I'm not really sure why. They probably will not remain in it, but I mean, it's good to just, I guess, know what they do. Now, one interesting thing about tanks is you can't actually move them if you have double movement. So I have double movement on, and part of that is because in my movement keys, move forward, all this stuff is not bound. So if I actually want to use it, I have to bind it. It's kind of annoying, but this is the only way to move it. And yeah, you have a tank. If you're the one driving, you have this thermal scope when you actually aim in. This is what we saw our boy R2 men <laughs> shooting missiles at people, just blowing everything up. You can go pretty fast, what, up to 50? And it does have fuel, so it's not just gonna run forever. It's also not indestructible. Where's Hydra? I want to blow him up. You can do damage by running people over. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also other seats. For example, there's this seat on the top, which you can use as a minigun if he wants to drive. Drive me around, my chauffeur. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here, yeah. even though we're in a we're in a battle lab with no one in it. Oh, I just broke your thing. That's actually so. If you guys didn't see that, I broke the little shield cover that this thing has, and now I can actually shoot Hydra. I can also harpoon him out. I don't have a harpoon, but harpooning works. Wait, and you can shoot, which I actually wanted to mention earlier. Wait, recharge. What recharge? Oh, hatch. this thing, the hatch. Oh, I didn't know it recharged. But it will recharge. One thing that should not recharge are the treads. And look at that. Yeah. What'd that take? Maybe 100 damage? And now try to drive. It's like a car. You're much slower. Obviously, you're 2,500 HP. So it's not a good idea to try to actually shoot him on it. But you can slow him down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tactical run. <laughs> Bro. Fuck this game. So yeah, that is the overall loot pool. The game is going to be really unbalanced for the next week or two. Compact SMGs are disgustingly broken, but go abuse them. And of course, go abuse tanks, especially in pubs, because people can't build anymore. We love Fortnite!